with the 22nd pick. The Boston Celtics select Fab Mello of Juiz de Fora, Brazil, and Syracuse University. Welcome, everybody, to the first installation of Fab Mello Television. This week, it's Fab's debut against the Miami Heat. Miami Heat are the now defending champions of the 2012-2013 season, which Fab Mello is debuting in, and here we can see Mario Chalmers and LeBron James, LeBron James, the the MVP of last season, and also the finals MVP, who won finally won his first ring after many years of seeking it. But today is all about Fab Mello. He's debuting, he's coming out of Syracuse, and he's coming out of Brazil. This kid is looking like one of the best shot blockers in the game coming out of college. He was ranked second in the North in the Big Ten. And he's gonna become one of the biggest beasts in the game. Game game. But Fat Mello, he's coming off the bench straight away. He's not gonna have a lot of minutes. He actually plays well. He plays towards the end of the game and it's a decent game for Fab. He is a very talented player as we all know. So at the beginning you heard what the commentators were saying about today. And it's going to be a great game overall. As you can see, Dwayne Wade with 22 points last season. Chris Bosch, also known as the third wheel in Miami, having a decent year. And he doesn't play that well today. And Fab Mello at one point gets matched up against LeBron James. That was a very big mismatch. As you can see, Rondo's still warming up. And it's Fab doesn't get the, too many minutes. He gets roughly less than half a game. But it's his first game coming out of college, and Boston seems to be liking this guy. All we've heard from Boston is that he's a great talent, likes to work out, and he's a phenomenal defensive player. As you can see, Kevin going at the current center for the, for the Boston Celtics, who may be moved down if Fab actually gets a start to his traditional position. So let's get this game underway. The refs looking to tip this off straight away from... And... Chris Bosch runs the tip for the Miami Heat. So, Fab Mello's finally checked in. He's, so far, he's got one board to his name. He's going to try and run that pick and roll with Rajon Rondo. He rolls to the basket, gets the ball, goes up strong with the, with the right handed layup. So, again, he's got, currently got two points. He's trying to run that pick and roll. If doesn't get the pick there, he's going to try and set a pick for Kayon Dueling. Rolls to the basket, nothing's there. Kayon drops it down to him low. He sees a mismatch, falls up a pump pick, and again with the right handed layup. Fab's game is pretty much with inside the key. That's his his area. Again, he's now on two boards. So that's a nice rule, and that was a great pass by one of the best pass playmakers in the game. And Fab Mello gets the foul called on him from Dwayne Wade. So Fab Mello going to the line first one. Oh, that's too short. So unlucky for Fab shooting his first free throws in the NBA. Fab's going to put up another one. This time it's good. Nice release by Fab Mello there. Nice one. So Fab is not the best perimeter defender. Basically, he has no perimeter defense. So it comes to Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade. No one knows what's happening. That's a fadeaway by Dwayne. Can't get the board. Paul Pills gets it. So Fab is very slow. He's quite slow for the big man position. He's running the floor, still looking for the ball. He's looking for the ball around the key. That's a great pass. Oh, he gets him up with, and that's a nice left-handed layup. Got him up with a fake, and that's Fab's game inside the paint. I don't think he'll ever shoot a mid-range shot. Oh, and Rondo now. Rondo's trying to get something going. Fab sets him a good pick. Comes off the pick. Miss. Oh, when he gets to the layoff. I don't know why that clip was in there. Not entirely sure myself. So, and uh, now he's done 9.6 rebounds, 1 assist, and 4 defensive rebounds, I think. Goes up. Gets the rebound, pulls it down, gets the foul. That's good hustle play. That's the kind of play you want to see from your big man. As you can see, they're leaving Fab in the game because he was playing quite well. He was playing better than Brandon Bass at this point. Misses the free throw, but it's all good. Fab puts up his second one. That's money. So that's the end of the game. See you later, guys.